How's my quad squad doing? It's the man, the myth, the legend, quad MFT here. Coming at you guys with another Black Ops 3 video. Today we're going to be going over actually my 11th episode in the series where I review primary weapons in Black Ops 3. Now clearly today, if you guys saw the thumbnail, the title, and we're looking at the gameplay, we're going to be reviewing the M87 Assault Rifle and absolutely beautiful gun quick reminder if we could shoot actually we destroyed our 400 like goal last time if we could shoot for 405 likes that would be awesome I, I i don't know if we can hit it but i think we can you know i believe in you guys so 405 likes would be incredible i can't believe seriously how much you guys crushed it on the last video so let's talk about the m8a7 and how i like to review primary weapons in black ops 3 so also if you guys haven't seen this series i'm not giving you guys extremely precise statistics but i am going to be going over the stats but i'm not going to be giving you guys extremely extremely precise ones but either way i'm going to be giving you guys the best class setup for the m8a7 and overall a rating out of 10 in my opinion on what i think of the m8 so here on right on the screen you guys can see the m8a7 stats as you can see the outlying stat the one that's the basically the biggest dead giveaway is the accuracy overall i do think that the damage the fire rate things like that the mobility it's a beautiful weapon like the m8a7 is a consistent pick it will basically always do you well it can work on short range maps long range maps mid range maps it can work on anything dude the m8a7 is so versatile and such a good weapon you guys have to try out the m8 i believe you unlock it like somewhere really really late in the levels like 50 to 55 and it's definitely worth it i think the first time i prestiged i unlocked the m8a7 as like my little prestige token to take it over so i could use it whenever i wanted just because the m8 was so good and right at the beginning of black ops 3 <clears throat> And the gun was even better than it is now uh, although they did nerf it a little bit it's still such a dominant weapon you guys even see it in like the cod world league and the mlg pro circuits it's still like one of the most used weapons i mean obviously you see like the vesper the vmp the pharaoh but the m8a7 is still like the the go-to assault rifle and, and occasionally the shiva but still the m8a7 it works in pub matches it works in game battles it works in pro games you have to try it out if you guys haven't you're missing out on a lot and the stats are really good like i said earlier the accuracy is obviously the go-to but if you guys really haven't checked out the m8 you're missing out on a gun in black ops 3 if you guys didn't play black ops 2 and obviously don't see the similarity with the m8a1 from black ops 2 then i don't know what you're thinking and also another little thing that i want to mention about this gun is it's a four round burst we really only see three round bursts in fully automatic semi-auto we don't really see many four round bursts we haven't seen that many i mean we've seen them before back in black ops 2 but four round burst i don't know i like them it I definitely works with the m8a7 i think it wouldn't be nearly as good if it was a three round burst so i think four really gives it a big advantage towards other guns if you guys don't know with the m8a7 you can actually one burst people if you hit the majority of your bullets I, I believe you have to hit at least three maybe four i mean it also depends if they're injured but either way you can one burst them i mean obviously most of the time you're going to be using more one unless you're a complete god with accuracy but i don't know you guys might be i don't know who's watching this video but seriously the m8a7 you can one burst people all the time it's very very accurate if you guys haven't tried out the gun it's, it is one of the last attachments that you unlock but if you haven't tried it out with rapid fire you're missing out like rapid fire on the m8 dominant like dominant dominant you guys got to try it out like i said it is one of my favorite guns it's always a consistent pick if you guys haven't picked it on like a small range map like nuketown or fringe or something like that and you haven't tried it out on like a longer range map like evac or stronghold i mean stronghold's not that long range but either way if you haven't tried it on a bunch of different maps you're missing out try out the m8a7 you will not regret it let's talk about reticles on this gun so reticles on this gun are basically needed i wouldn't say you a hundred percent need them but they're needed like if you're not running a reflex or an elo you're probably missing a lot of shots that you could be hitting you may not think it you may be like oh dude quad I'm, I'm the best call to be playing in the world like why would i use a reflex or an elo I, I i'm a i'm an iron sight type of guy i have perfect accuracy well try out the reflex try out the elo i'm telling you guys you're not gonna be like quad you're stupid why would i run that try it out try out the elo try out the reflex it's really good on the m8 i'm typically a person who likes to use iron sights but a reflex or an elo is going to do you well on the m8 so please please try it out again obviously it's not needed but in my opinion it's needed but you don't have to put it on so really try reflex try an elo obviously i prefer the elo over the reflex but still try it out the elo is beautiful by the way overall i want to give this weapon a 9.5 out of 10 i think that's the highest rating i've ever given a gun in this black ops 3 series where i review weapons again it is my 11th 11th episode so i've gone through quite a few guns but still 9.5 out of 10 that's so good in the beginning of black ops 3 i would have given it a 10 out of 10 literally a perfect gun 
but they had to nerf it a little bit because obviously it was being overused and it is a little overpowered and still still really good so try it out 9.5 of 10 9.5 out of 10 is what i give it overall now the somewhere on the screen you guys are going to see the best class setup i obviously have to slap on stock quick draw rapid fire and elo sight I, I don't know i could switch up for reflex if i prefer it but that's really the only thing that matters and then i believe as my perks i'm rocking flat check a fast hands tactical mask and then i think i have a trip mine because when you have that odd number you typically get an odd number of your pick 10 class when you run uh, an elo site because that only takes up one you don't have to have any extra wild cards so you typically have nine out of ten i throw on the trip mine because i just throw it down every time i spawn because you, you can most likely get a random kill you know you may you may never know when you're 100 points off that hater vsat you're gonna be like damn i, I wish i would have thrown down my trip mine and maybe gotten a kill or something like that but either way still this is a beautiful class setup for the m87 obviously you can customize it to do whatever you want but i really like this class setup again rapid fire is beautiful quick draw is awesome you do not need grip on this thing i don't think there's that much recoil on it just basically because it's a burst weapon so most burst weapons don't really have a ton of recoil but it's been roy quad mft please try out the m87 you won't regret it even if you're just playing gbs all day try it out it's been roy quad mft like i said 405 likes would literally well i don't know about literally but it would blow my mind it's been roy quad mft subscribe and join the quad squad We're really close to 69,000 subscribers subscribers sheesh that's a lot of uh, 69 that's, that's a lot of subscribers it's been your boy quantum ft and peace out i'm 95 000.